Hey everyone, I'm uh, here at work and uh, I started on a new project here. I got, I got most of it laid out and I, I'm thinking this is mahogany where I buy it. And I looked up their website and it, they said it was mahogany and it's a nice wood to work with. And this is a, like a lighter one, but uh, I laid it out. You can see how I laid it out. What, I wanna, what I'm going for here is a, uh, a chain, like a chain link all the way down. So that's the step. It was like I measured it four inches round, and I went around and marked it every four inches, and then I marked a half inch, a, qu a quarter inch from that line out, and then two inches long, then an inch in between each space so the links will be connected. I want a half inch up into each link for the other link to connect in, you know, like a regular chain. And then I use a straight edge, you know, to make sure the lines are all straight all the way down and everything. So, I have to probably start working on it. I'm going to put the tip on first because I like to put the tip on first, protect it as I work on it in case it, you know, bumps the ground and everything. So, that's, that's it for right now. Hey, I got uh, some of it carved out. You can see these are going to be the links. And they have to go in so far. They're going to be connected. They're not going to be hollow. Well, they'll be hollow in between here through to the other side. But you can see how far I got done. It really quick with this new bit I got. It's a blade. They make different blades. You got your regular blade for cutting steel. You know, like your, your reinforced cutting discs. I'm trying to get it out of the case here. It comes with a quick connector. You know, you do is, is you push down on it and you load the the blade up in there. It's easier when it's on a thing, but it's for steel, and then you got one for ceramic. Well, the one I'm using for this, it's for wood. And I'll tell you what, it works fantastic. It was about fifteen dollars. Was it about fifteen bucks? Fifteen dollars and uh it it cuts it, you can probably cut this thing in half in 20 seconds but I was taking my time and I was outside it's pretty it's 87 outside but I wasn't using a flex shaft on my Dremel but uh, it was just getting too hot to hold and I says I just give up but this is about what 20 minutes worth of just cutting you know the grooves and for the lines I've had but uh, that's that's the next step I'm gonna go all the way up the stick like that and uh, I have to start carving out in between, which it works pretty good here too. I carve it out, and I still have to put the tip on the bottom. But uh, this is really hard wood, and it, it blew right through it like nothing. So this bit is really fantastic for wood. I took it into work today, and uh, I was looking for a part for the table saw. You know, the part that slides in the table. You can put, and it goes 90 from the the blade. And I was going to raise the blade up so far and use it as a dado blade and, and cut out cut out these parts right here. But I couldn't find it, so I was ended up using my uh, the blade from the Dremel, and I knocked I knocked it out. I, I went down all the way this way, and then this way, and I pulled that piece out. So now I have to carve all these out. So what I did a little bit down here is you can see this will be a link, and then this will be a link, and this will be a link. See, now I'm debating whether to carve this out right here or right here. And I'm afraid to carve that out because it might be too weak. I mean, this is a strong wood. I'll wait until I get it all carved out on these, these links carved out in between. And then I'll flex it and we'll see what we get. I think it'll be strong enough, but I'm not sure. So we'll have to check it out a little bit later on. But that's what I got so far. And that was about, about an hour worth the work. It wasn't very long at all, but I got that. Well, I've been working on it for uh, a few hours today, and uh, I got it all carved out all the way down, and I was messing around down here and stuff. So this, when I was working on it a little bit, I got it a little bit rounded, you can see, uh, compared to this part. It's with the, the coarse bit sanding drum, a, a, the quarter inch sanding drum. Uh, you still have to work all the way down. It takes about 10 minutes for each one to round it off and smooth it out a little bit. I'm going to go over it again with a finer drum and then all hand sanding, but as I had that, it took about, I don't know, about an hour or two to do that. 
I don't know, 10 minutes each one? Yeah, about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. I don't know. But, uh, I still got all that to do, so that's it so far. Taking some time. Well, I want to show you what I got here. It's all finished. And you can see the links all the way up. It's not perfect, but pretty darn close. You know, you can see down the length of it. Um, that's it. And then I got this serving. It's some nylon, some thick nylon string here. And I tacked it in with these uh, little little nails. I drilled a pilot hole. And then on the top part, I took an actual chain link and I cut them to mimic that part there. So it's alright, you know. It's really strong for the downward push. It's also like really flexible. I'm surprised. But that's it, you know. That's, uh, that's when it's finished. I don't know how many hours it took to do it, but that's the, uh, it's pretty, pretty straight down the length of it. That's it.